Debate continued on the mid-year budget in the House of Assembly today, but before it got underway, Member of Parliament for Long Island, Loretta Butler-Turner, sought to clear her name regarding comments she made in the previous House sitting on the heads of agreement made between government and Bahama officials. Janina Well Ferguson was there and has the story. MP for Long Island, Loretta Butler-Turner, through her attempt to lay on the table of the House of Assembly the heads of agreement between the government and Bahamar, met harsh opposition from the government who questioned her motives. Butler-Turner said that during the debate on Monday, her reputation was brought into question. Now on Monday, Butler-Turner suggested that the previous FNM administration met an incomplete heads of agreement in place. In 2006, before any work had begun, on any aspect of the development, the Christie government once again entered into negotiation for the project to be doubled in size to $2 billion. Minister of Tourism Obi Wilshcombe quickly rose on a point of order demanding that Butler Turner get to the point. Lay the documents. No, she got what to say what's in the documents. Lay the documents, documents Mr. Oh. Speaker. We've heard what she said. Let her lay her documents and we will the public, assess her the documents. Will read and though. certainly we'll be responding, Mr. Speaker, but have her lay the documents. But it was Deputy Prime Minister Philip Davis who sought to bring some resolution to the issue. She, the very document she lays on the table to vindicate her integrity speaks to a completed heads of agreement. This document says these amended. So what are you amending? Something that's been done. Restated. What are you doing? You're restating something that has already been stated. Right? This is what she's saying. These amended and restated heads of agreement are made, and guess when? On the 31st of January, 2011. Now the Long Island MP tabled that document, and debate on the mid-year budget continued. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNES Network News.